This video is made possible by the wonderful people on my Patreon. If you're interested in getting more content from me, like exclusive reading vlogs, early access to videos, weekly reading sprints, and access to our June book club with guests like Ali from Hardback Quarter and Katie Coulson, check out the link at the top of this video description. Huge, huge thank you to the patrons and their support and their kindness. Just know that you are my favorite. Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. How have you been? I've missed you. Where you been? How's your mom? Is your grandma all right? I hope so. Tell her I said hi. Anyway, today we have the long awaited, <laughs> highly anticipated bookshelf library organization video. No spoilers, don't look. I know that you've already seen parts of it. <laughs> In case you don't know, my name is Jordaline, first of all. So nice to meet you. How you been? I hope you're doing okay. I moved about two months ago, about like a month and a half ago, a month and a half, two months ago. And I live in a two bedroom apartment. This is the second bedroom. And I decided to make it into my library slash like office. This video is just the detailing of my process with organizing it. I'm sure you've seen bookshelf organization videos before. I don't need to explain this too much to you. Basically, my theme and my idea was to have a dark academia-esque looking room. It's still a work in progress. I'm not going to be like, this is the completed vi vision. No, it's not. But it is the vibe I wanted. But yeah, I'm going for a dark academia vibe. Keep that in mind. Um, I keep in mind I also have a lot of manga, so that's on the other side of the room. So we will be um, discussing that as well. This video is a bit weird. <laughs> there's the intro, this, and then an outro, but then there's also gonna be a voiceover, but then there's also gonna be clips. <laughs> of me um, in the moment talking about the process of the books and the organizing and everything. So it's like a vlog, voiceover, organization thing. I don't know. I don't know what it is, okay? Just God. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you hit subscribe um, and like the video and stuff like that. Share it or whatever if you want to. Uh, don't forget also to check out my other social media, uh, like my Instagram, which is just at Jordaline. So if you're interested in that, you should go follow me there. <laughs> let's let's go on to the video. Let's let's roll the clips. Let's roll the tapes. Jeremy. No, Jeremy. No, I can't. No, I'm I'm a married woman, Jeremy. Just roll the clip. Just roll the clip as you always have. What do you mean? <laughs> no, just, just roll it. Okay, now you, mm. I have to find somebody else. I need to like get a hold of like Earl or like Devin or something because this is not working out. No, yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. Good job, Jeremy. Okay, roll the clip. Hi, voiceover Tortoline here. Welcome to this video. So, my library. I moved in about two months ago and I fully expected for this video to only take me maybe like a week or two weeks at the most. I really didn't expect it to be two months, but here we are, Tiffany, two months in and it's finally here. It's about damn time. In case you're wondering also, the room that I chose to put my library in is the master bedroom in my apartment. The room is quite spacious. The room also has a walk-in closet and a bathroom that's connected to it as well. I can fit all of my manga very comfortably, all of my books very comfortably, and also I have my desk in the room as well. First off, I had to move the shelves to the places where I wanted them to be. I wanted to give more room for my actual book books and then leave maybe like, I think I think two and a half shelves for the manga. And I really hoped that that's what was gonna work. Because as you might know, before I moved, I got rid of, I wanna say, at least 25 to 40% of my book collection.
Hello and welcome to this bookshelf organization video. I'm just about to start preparing the things to go onto the shelves. As you can see, I have these. These are the Vitzjo shelves, by the way, anyone wondering. They're from Ikea in Canada. Can't really find them. It seems like they've been discontinued, but in America, I think you can still find them. It's a bummer though that I can't find any more because I, uh, I would like to buy a few more. Anyway, the thing that I'm literally about to do, I think work on that side of the room. My idea, my little bird brain idea, is to have that side of the room be manga and this side of the room be like my novels, my books, etc. Because there's more space on this side for books, less space on that side for manga. I hope I have enough shelves to fit because like I said, I literally can't find these shelves anywhere in Ikea. I think what I'm gonna do right now though is work on that side, work on the manga. I think I'm gonna take all of the manga out of the boxes, out of my out of my bins, I try to organize it, because I'm pretty sure it's all a mess, and then start putting the manga on the shelves. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> if it doesn't, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Let's go do that. Let's go do that, okay? Let's do that. This is a bit unrelated to the video, but it is kind of related to manga, so I'm gonna talk about it. And that is, I want to get better at reading my manga. And I don't know if anybody else has this problem. As you might know, I'm notorious for buying manga, but then never actually reading it. And I wanna get better at it. And recently I did a reading vlog where I read all of Shuzo Oshimi's work, or at least the manga of his that, I've ha that I have. I read 34 volumes in four days. 34 volumes in four days and it occurred to me like why have I not been just reading manga like crazy like it was so easy for me to just in one sitting read 10 volumes like it doesn't take anyway so I really want to get better at reading more manga because as you might be able to tell I have a lot of manga um and most of it spoiler alert, is unread by me. So I do want to get better with reading it. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Does anybody else suffer with this or is it just me? Please let me know. Because there's something so addictive, and I know I'm talking your ear off, there's something so addictive about buying manga. It's just so easy, it's just so colorful, it's just so fun to look at all the pictures and the covers. Like, there's something addictive about it. Tell me I'm not the only one who thinks so. Thank you so much. Also, as a side note, I should mention that my manga isn't necessarily organized in any certain way. I've basically just put my favorites closer to the top of the shelves and my least favorites are like less desirables towards the bottom. <laughs> Saying it out loud, it seems mean and it kind of is. And a lot of those are actually the more romantic shoujo-y kind of books. Also, I kind of have a preference towards the bigger volumes versus the regular sized. I don't know what that's about, but I do prefer the bigger ones. This is useless information. I just thought you should know. Anyway. <laughs>
hello. So I finished, finished putting the manga on the shelves. I don't know what to think. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I think, I think I'm gonna leave it for now and then revisit it maybe after I start these. Cause I could just need some like decoration, I think. But right now, I don't know. She's not giving me the vibe that I want. Also, I kind of want to go for like a dark academia vibe, obviously. With the manga also, I don't really want to like turn the books around. You know what I mean? I don't want to have the pages facing out. So the books, it was fine. This would make it very difficult, I think. So I think for this, I don't know. It's just very colorful. I think that's what it is. I think it's just that it's like super, super colorful and that it's like, it's very bright. But maybe that could just be like the vibe for that side of the room. <laughs> maybe for that side of the room, it's cute. You know, that side of the room, adorable. So this side of the room, dark, scholarly, grumpy. You know, this side, happy, go lucky, kawaii, you know? Like thinking also, and this could be crazy, let me know what you think. Thinking that this wall, could be like a gallery wall maybe. I can't really put books on this wall, first of all, because I don't have enough shelves. Second of all, there's like, there's like a heater. Can you see that, the heater? So I'm thinking, because I think what I'm gonna do is put like the matching desk to, the, to these shelves right here underneath this window. Maybe use that as like my makeup desk or something. And then I think I might have like a gallery wall or something here. I don't know. I've never made a gallery wall. I don't even know. I don't even know how to, how to make that happen, but you know, it could be cute. Also, I think my strategy for, for decorating is going to be just waiting until I'm finished placing all the books on the shelves and arranging the books. And then, and then, I'll decorate. I'm also really, really nervous that I'm not gonna have enough space for all my books. Cause if I don't, well, fuck me, you know? <laughs> fuck me and my drag. I have four shelves to put my entire book collection on, which I'm hoping will be enough. I think if I don't have enough shelf space here, I'll move the manga somewhere else. Where? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where, don't ask me. I don't know where, but I'll move the manga because my main concern is having enough space for my actual book books. I'm gonna I'm gonna start unloading my books, which is a lot. It's a uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of books. Okay. Bye. When I was unpacking, I realized that unpacking isn't that much fun. <laughs> what I mean by that is I always had the idea because when I was in my, you know, early 20s, when I moved, I didn't have that much stuff. I mostly had books. I spent about 10 years in my roommate's house. And this is my first like official apartment, like by myself without a roommate. I always thought that unpacking was more fun than packing. Um, turns out, nope, it's not. Not when you have a shit ton of stuff. And I had a lot of books. Even after unhauling so many of them, I still had so many, but it was a lot and I got it done. As you can see, there's a lot. Okay, Tiffany, I don't know if this was the best idea, but this is what I did. I organized the books on the shelves in haphazard ways based on their genre. And as you can see from the video, I'm just putting books in certain sections. So I had my fantasy, my horror, nonfiction, middle grade and YA, et cetera, et cetera. This wasn't smart because what happened was the shelves were brimming with books. And so when I wanted to organize on those shelves, 
I had to take all of those books off again. It, it made no sense. Like, it was the stupidest idea. But anyway, that's what I did. I should have just organized them based on genre on the floor. I didn't do that. For some unknown reason, I didn't do that. Like, look, how am I going to organize that top shelf when all of there are, when it's just books upon books upon, like, it's dumb. Anyway, I'll leave you alone for a second so you can enjoy the book porn of just like books being slotted into places. Cause I don't know about you, but for me, that's like deeply satisfying. So I'll leave you alone. Hello. So it's like day three or four and I have at this point organized everything by genre. This is what the manga looks like. I don't know why I thought that was the only manga I had like the first day. I don't know why I thought that because that was not true. That was not that was not reality. I had much more manga packed in boxes, which is what you see there at the bottom definitely need to reorganize it. I also have this desk, which matches the bookshelves. However, I don't like it in this in this spot. It comes out too far this way for, for this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the desk to over here and put it um, like right here, if it fits. It might not fit actually. I'm gonna try it actually right now. But I'm really, really excited to actually get started and actually start putting things in places. Also, I don't know. And like, let me know what you think. I mean, I, I guess it's a bit late. Maybe I'll put it on Instagram, but I don't know if I wanna do backwards facing again, where it's just like the pages, or I had the idea of doing um, all of the books I've read being backwards. I thought that could be kind of cute. I might do that. I don't know. But I do really like, like, this top half of the manga. I moved the desk, and oh my god, it just, just fits. Do you see that? It's like literally on the edge. And does the door open all the way? No, <laughs> but does it need to? That's also the question. I don't think it does. I, I, don't, I don't mind it. What do you think? I don't know. Should I just, should I just get rid of this tiny desk? <laughs> what do you think? It kind of looks weird, doesn't it? But you know what this tells me? This tells me that I could fit another Vitzjo bookcase right there if I could fucking get them. If I, if I could get them. Bye. Hello. So, um, it's been multiple days and I haven't updated you. I haven't even really gone into this room cause I've been kind of busy, but I was just fooling around doing a little, doing a little this and that. And I think I know what I'm going to do for my setup. Let me show you. 
So I was fooling around, specifically with my, my fantasy section. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the books that I have read facing the opposite direction and the books I haven't read facing with the spines out. It's like the Dark Academia thing I was going for in my old place, but with like a little bit of a twist and it's, le and it's also less annoying for me because oftentimes when I would try to find a book, it would take, it would take time because I would have to individually look at each, it was like a nightmare. So I think with this, it's just as appealing and it looks just as good but it's more practical, <laughs> which we love. We love a little practicality. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. I'm gonna get back to organizing. Like I mentioned in earlier clips, the aesthetic I wanted to go for in my library was Dark Academia. The manga section, it's not really giving that, but I'm not mad at it. It's hard to kind of have a Dark Academia vibe when you have so many colorful spines, but with my book book section, I thought it would be a little bit easier if I, like I said before, turned the pages outward, at least for the books that I have read. I like being able to see the books I haven't read because it was not feasible <laughs> before. I really want the library to be a place of sort of dark, moody, but studious energy. Do you know what I mean? That's the vibe I was going for. Um, and hopefully by the end, you'll see that I kind of pulled it off. I hope I pulled it off. We'll see. Let me know what you think. I should have mentioned all of this earlier, but I honestly kind of forgot. So I'm mentioning it now. Also, let me know down below how you organize your books. I, I personally like to organize them by genre and by size with like the largest and then going down to the smallest. But I know that some people like to organize them based on color, based on the last name of the author, like alphabetically. I know some people don't organize them at all. Like what is your preferred kind of organization like what kind of aesthetic are you going for also in your personal libraries or on your own personal bookshelves i'd love to know i think it's so interesting and i think it tells a lot about people how they organize their books
Okay, my friends, we're coming to the end or close to the end of the video, close to the reveal of the video, which is the library. Voice over me is going to say goodbye and let you enjoy the rest of the video in peace. Um, let me know down below what you think and I'll see you for the outro. Enjoy. That was the book organization. What did you think? Oh my God, isn't it stunning? Isn't she gorgeous? You've already seen this, but like, isn't she stunning? Like, isn't she gorgeous? I'm excited to eventually get more of these Vitzjo bookcases because they have come back in stock. So I'm excited to get more of them and uh, sort of fill up the room. I, re I really want to have like that kind of like, like every wall covered in books like that's the vibe i really really want thank you so much for watching this video let me know down below what you thought of everything what you thought of the end result i'd love to know don't forget also to let me know what your like aesthetic is how you organize things i'm i'm literally so curious i'm not even joking and yeah i hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to hit subscribe because we talk about spooky shit talk about creepy shit talk about dark academia and organizing our bookshelves <laughs> and shit. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.